Hmm. You didn't know, say, your Samsung Galaxy devices, them, come with a built-in video editing app right out of the box. I want me love about this editing app here. Yeah. When you want to do a quick editing, you know, something simple, you don't have to really run for no Adobe Rush, no, no, Kind Master, no, no, Luma Fusion and them app there where you all have to pay for and them thing there. All you need for do, I just go right in your phone, just explore your phone. So you have two ways how you can access this video editing app. One, you can go in your gallery, and your gallery this year look on right here, so good. And then now, you select the video where you want to edit. And if you look down here, so you see one pencil icon, you click on the pencil icon right there, so good. Then you can trim the video, see the scissors icon highlight in a yellow there. And you can crop the video. I mean, you can rotate the video. You can add your filter to the video. You can add your sticker to the video. You can draw in it. You can add your text like your title. This is for the quick part though, because there are two places to it. And you can rotate the portrait. You can speed it up. You can adjust the speed. Right there so. And you can add music to it. You see that? So see where I go over them there. Trim, transform it, filter, sticker, can draw, and you can add your text or your title. This is a pretty quick one, as we say. Now, it can get more complex if you want. So if you want to look like a professional, all you do is just go up here and you see them vertical ellipses that up here. So. See them over here top right hand corner. Click on the vertical ellipsis. That, you see create movie, click on create movie. It will take you back into the gallery for you select some other clip. You don't have to do that, but if you want to select some other clip, you can do that. Now, all you need to do is press back and come back out of it. So once you press back and exit there, so it takes you right in a one like a professional looking thing. This time it is a little bit different. So you would not see which part you deal with the clip them there so you can add your title yes so now like it's a movie or bill and then now you can add your music yes so. and then for the rest of the thing the way you that's around so you have to press upon the video. That's on your timeline. See create a timeline there so you can do your drawing there so and you, and thing you see how it's a edit and you can do your splitting there so the same thing like out of front there so you can just throw away that. Press the plus icon. Add back a next video if you want. Watch it now for your argument's sake. So, we have to add a next clip to it. So, we add another clip to it. And then now you can add a transition to it. No only a fancy transition. No, I mean, it's a little built-in thing. But them can work. See them here? Yeah, man. You must can find something. You know, we wow, think look fancy. Look like a bit professional. And then now, if you edit the clip, you go in it and you, play, you press a little split business there. See it there? All right, so you slide a little thing there to which part you want to cut it, if anything. And if you change your mind and no bother, you want to no bother with it, you just press that little X down here. So. Or you, if you did a go through with it, you just press the ticky. And I hear that. And this is the way you know how you do, how you access it from your gallery. Now, from your video app, you just go into your video app and this is what you do. Pretty much the same thing. So you go, you scroll, you go and look. We must point out though. So you see this thing here? Because it's built in, you're not going to really find you can do no great voiceover, if any. Like what you're doing at Adobe Rush and Kind Master and this whole tone loader option. I just want to look at something where you do this quick little editing thing here. But you have a few little things where you can go and do as me say if I just a quick thing you do. Cause you can add your music. So, so, so watch you now. You just access the video the same way. Cause the only difference I go on here so you know I which part you access it from. So the first part are from your gallery and now are from your video app. So them three vertical ellipses that up there. So again in your video app, click on it, say editor there, you just click editor. Good. And you just come down and 
pretty much the same thing that I have seen. The only difference is the means by which you access this built-in video editing app. Yeah. So we just show you see, the gallery, now we in the video player app. So if you get it, you press the vertical ellipsis, that up here, so more option, press on that, create movie, and just look through your video them where you want. If I just one video alone you did want to edit, then you just press back and come out of that, jump out and go around your timeline, go look professional around here, so. <laughs> yeah, man, see there. So, we just got you with them here now. But the, the only good thing we never show you are the title business. You know, you can create a title. Because we have a professional thing where I look like here, so you know, even though it's cheap. So you can add a title. We have some built in one in it here, so. Them, them not bad. Them can work. You can turn down the volume of the video, that are the main volume, and you can add your own music in it. So the, the value of the clip and add your own music. So the app itself now have some built-in or some pre-installed music in it. If you notice, you see some yellow arrow point down over here, so you can download or if you add your own music, see that plus the rest of my music, you just press that, and then now you jump over your music, them where you did download from wherever, where you did buy off a Spotify or somewhere there. I you just scroll, and search, search, search till you see what you want. You just select it and you just drop it in. You get what I say? And I do that. So, a next thing where you can do, you can also adjust your aspect ratio. You know them 16 by 9 or 9 by 16 or 1 by 1 and then something. So, so if you look up on the top right hand corner, Again, you see aspect ratio there, so you can adjust it, see there, to where you want. And if you look over in the top left hand corner, you see two arrows, so you can do full screen, or whichever way you want it. And you know a good thing about this thing, you don't have a watermark. No watermark, no in it. See there, you adjust the dike in them, come, and put it where you want to put it. You want to see something over in the corner there, so no, the arrow them. So you can adjust how you want this thing. Yeah? If you, if you look, big screen, small screen, you know, and I do that. So when you're done, you can export and share and all kind of same thing, you know, upload it to wherever. Kind of share them, you can upload it to YouTube or whichever social media you want to upload it to. And you just go on with yourself with a cheap built-in video editing app. Because I go. But it's a go on. I may use it though. I will leave a editing to and it no bad. See there? Yeah, we just a run back over them little thing and make you see what I go on, you know? And you can add a picture to it or, or so from the gallery. Same way. Yeah, man. So make we know where you learn all them things there. You see me? Why are you from you down in the comment section if you didn't know it a long time or you just a learn about it or what? And we don't like you put a like on this video yeah, and share it same way and subscribe if you never subscribe. Yeah man, just run the support. You hear that? Peace out.